What's up, people? This is Skip Ghost Hartman. Y'all know what it is. I am and will always be the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest, darkest sneaker YouTuber in the game. Facts. Today's day is January 26, 2020. Y'all ready to tell y'all know what it is? Y'all definitely see the thumbnail. Yes, this has been a long time coming. Now, when I first did my Black Cat 4 video, I will admit I used my old ass 2006 pair. You know the funny thing about it is, a lot of there's there were people saying that oh oh Skip's pair is fake. His the the real box is black. They're fake. No, I used a real pair of old ass 2006 black cats. Me, I assume that the 2020 pair was going to get released in a regular Air Jordan 4 box. Well, they are. The 2020s will get released in a regular Jordan 4 box, but the box is all black. It is blacked out. Real skip goes hardish. Black of the blacks right here. Box first. I'll shout out to my homie and the side continues right there, man. He let me do video on these sweet black hat fours. Now, I have not, uh, I didn't get my pair yet, but I will soon but enough of that y'all give a damn about that man let's talk about the black hat force now this now everybody did their videos before but this is the skip ghost hard video man so let's get into it now the black hat force come in a regular air jordan 4 box you know the air jordan 4 box it'll have the kind of like cement all on the bottom you know what i mean and then you have flight up top right here flight on the bottom that you got that uh that jump man but they, Jordan brand, Nike, they decided to go ahead and black out the whole box, which is cool. That's smart. I like when Jordan brand and Nike, they, they think outside the box with their certain ideas. And sometimes these ideas help sell the shoe. You know what I mean? But black ass box right here. Air Jordan 4 retro black, black and light graphite. Pretty much skip, skip and light graphite. So let's get into it, man. So if you have a pair of legit 2020 Air Jordan 4 Black Cats. It's gonna come in a black ass box, ain't gonna have some black ass paper right here. You know what I mean? This is a black ass shoe, so they decided everything's gonna be black. Black ass box, black ass paper, black ass shoe, man. And when you open it up, bro, you got a sweet pair all right here, man. Now these shoes are just like the 2006 pair. Everything from how the materials feel, you know what I mean? That kind of like new book. This is not suede. This is more of your new book feel, you know what I mean? And then on the bottom, the back of the tongue, you got that Air Jordan. Air Jordan right there behind the tongue. And I like how the little pull tab in the back is real flimsy. It's not stiff. Pause. It's flimsy in the back. And you got that kind of like blacked out jewel type of jump man. Uh, right in the back of the shoe, just like the 2006 pair, man. They, Jordan Brand Nike, you all did an outstanding job with the 2020 Black Cat 4s. Just for the simple fact, like I said, man, it's just like the 2006 pair. My 2006 pair is just like this, but you can tell this is a 2020 because of that nice, clear air unit right there. You all, when your Black Cats or any kind of other Air Jordans get really, really old like years, your air bubble is not going to be clear. It's going to be smoked out like the 2006 pair I did. Damn, like a couple weeks ago or whatever. You got the wings, black ass wings all right there, man. Like I said, they did a good job with this shoe. The Air Jordan 4, 2020 Air Jordan 4 Black Cat is easily going to be in my top pickups of 2020. Easily, just for the simple fact that I need a new pair of Black Cat 4s and Jordan Brand, the sneaker gods were like, yes, let's give Skip Ghost Hearts Black Ass a 2020 pair of Air Jordan 4s, man, Black Cat. So I'm grateful for that, man. Now, a lot of people are not really going to put the 2020 Air Jordan 4 Black Cat in their top pickers of 2020. I will. A lot of people won't because it's not really that much hype. You know what I mean? People just say, is this a regular black shoe? Oh, these are referee Jordans. These are, uh, I work at McDonald's, all black shoes. You know what I mean? But to me, this is, this is perfect. Thank you, man. This is the man right here, man. Why don't you come on over, man? Get in. Get in this puss ass uh, uh, little video right here, man. Hey, man, this is the homie uh, in the saga continues right here, What's aka up, Andy on deck, man. This is actually his pair. And, uh, you know, he let me do the video on him, man. So what do you, what do you think about the, Black Hat 4. 
They're money, dude. I've been wearing them for like three days straight. Three days straight. Still clean. I say more comfortable than the cool grays, more comfortable than the cements. Okay. They're getting, the quality's getting better. Yeah. It's cool, man. We have actually three, three more shoes, right? We got three more shoes that I'm going to show you all. So, uh, yeah, check it out. All right, y'all, man, this is the, uh, let's see, this is like a regular, like I said, your standard Air Jordan 4 box, man. Black on top, red jump in, you got a flight on the bottom, man. So, and I did a video on the Raptor 4s before, but I kind of want to, you know what I mean, like hit these and kind of, uh, maybe we'll do like a slight comparison, man. So you got the Raptor 4s right here on deck, beautiful shoe. You still got that kind of like, uh, like new buck feel, you know what I mean, when you're comparing it to the Black Cat 4, the Raptor 4 is right here. And then, you know, on the back, you know, you got the purple jump man and the Black Cat, so you got the black. But really focusing on the kind of like uh, new buck material. This will be like a new buck, not a suede, right? right. Maybe more like a new like a new buck material, man. I can tell, like, I guess like, it's like really, really, I don't know, it's like real smooth. It kind of like looks like it could be like a leather in a way but it isn't you got that new buck type you know uh material but yeah man you got the raptor fours man this is a shoe i did have i had it for a little bit and i decided to make them walk the plank you know what i mean but comparing a raptor four to a black cat four you can kind of like tell what's going on with the you know what the materials and then we have another special treat for you all we have the air jordan one Spider-Man and this shoe this shoe it will be like my first time actually seeing it not seeing it in person but actually getting a chance to hold the shoe man Spider-Man's man I'm showing y'all all kinds of shoes today look at this now we got and I'm glad that he brought this out because this shoe will remind you of a Chicago one and the Chicago ones of course were not being uh they're not gonna get released they were supposed to get released this year all-star but they decided to cancel it but man you got the spider-man ones and from afar from far away from a distance you'll think it's a chicago one but when you walk up on his ass you can tell all like the little is this is this was this like a 3m, 3M. yeah the 3m all kind of like little spots on the shoe and then you got the blue right there the Nike tab right there, Nike Air in the blue. And then on the bottom, the clear bottom. And we got one more, one more shoe for you all. This shoe will be my first time seeing it in person. And actually, I'm gonna, I'm, I, want, uh, I want Andy to kind of talk about this shoe right here because this is one that he, uh, I mean, he, you, this is a shoe that you really wanted? You know what? My boy wanted it. Mm -hmm. He actually got the very first one that was like a black and, uh, black and gray or white and gray. Yep. Helped him get that because I, mean, I knew a little bit more about copying sneakers. Yeah. And when I got it in hand, I'm like, whoo, that thing was fire. Yeah. But it's like $250, so it was hurting the wallet. So. $250 good dollars, yeah. So I let my boy have that pair, and then he, he's like, you help me get the black pair that came out? Got it for him. He changed his mind. He's like, let's return it. Yeah. I was like, how about I take it off your hands? And that, yeah. was, my, uh, that was my first introduction to the LeBron. The John Elliott LeBron icon. Yeah. With the translucent materials and all, all that. All right. Hey. It's kind of fire. Yeah. Nobody does reviews on these. Nobody cops these. It's yeah. under the radar. You, you know? know what I mean? We got the so John Elliott icon right. LeBron 10s, yeah. right? No, it's a LeBron it? icon. It's not even one of the. It's a. That's a LeBron X. Is that oh, like 10? Le like LeBron, LeBron by John Elliott. Okay. But is this like a 10 model? No. Nah. It's not a 10? It's actually reminiscent of the 7, I think, with the bottom. Oh, so this is not. Okay, so I guess nah, the X is, is not 10. It's like LeBron, like a uh, like a collab type. Yeah, there. right. Okay, there we go, man. A collab. See, my bad. We all <laughs> mess up. I was thinking like it was a LeBron 10 and then, you know, John Elliott. But yeah, man. Like these are pretty clean too. You know what I mean? Like I know like a few people who picked them up. And they have that kind of like, um, oh, this kind of like material, you know what I mean? I think this material is supposed to be like on the uh, Super Bowl 10s, I heard. Right. I heard, yeah. It's kind of like a, um, oh, what can I, it reminds me of like a, like a. It's like those element reacts that came out. Yeah, like yeah, Lucian maybe like, like a, yeah, some type of like a windbreaker type, you know what yeah. I mean? Like some type of, you know. But yeah, man, these are hard too, man. These are hard. I mean, like you sometimes, like everybody likes, you know, like the Jays and the uh, LeBrons, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta, 
you, you, you venture out and you, you realize that there's so many other dope shoes, man. And these are hard too. I like how they got that Nike right there on the tongue, kind of like sideways. And you got the like, uh, what, like a leather, like pull, yeah. pull tab in the back, strong ass leather, that belt leather, whip ass leather right there, man. These the are hard. leather's fire on these. Yeah. Yeah, bro, man, those are hard, man. And you know what? That's pretty much it. Nice little sweet, sweet little, sweet little whole ass video right here, man. Black Cat 4s, y'all. Let me know how you feel about the Black Cat 4s. I know I'm late. This is all right now. In the sneaker YouTube world, this shoe is already years old. You know what I mean? Uh, but besides that, look, you all take care, man. That is it. And I want to uh, end this video off by saying uh, rest in peace, man, to Kobe Bryant. Uh, uh, praise to his family. Uh, you know, we all heard the unfortunate news hours ago today. And it's pretty much, man, uh, prayers to the families, all the lives that were lost in that tragic accident early today. And, uh, hey, man, that is it. But you all take care. I'm Skip Goes Hard, the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest, darkest sneaker YouTuber in the game. Facts. And we got my homie Andy right here. And the saga continues. You can find him on IG. If, if you're trying to find him, go to my IG. Find and the saga continues. You find him. Follow him, man. Sneakerhead as well. And look, y'all take care. Peace. Y'all stay tuned. I haven't forgot about you all.